Genre study. Informational text is nonfiction. It gives facts about a topic. As you read, get ready for weather, look for captions with art or photos, headings, subheadings, or bold words that stand out. How visuals and words help you understand the text. Set a purpose. Think carefully about the author's words as you read. Then evaluate or decide which details are most important to help you understand the text. Power words. Gusts. Flash. Supplies. Layer. The Weather by Lucy Jones. What's the weather? Take a look outside your window. What's the weather like today? It might be sunny or cloudy, rainy or snowy. One of the neat things about weather is that it's always changing. Temperatures can be warm or cold. Winds can be strong gusts or soft breezes. If it's rainy and chilly today, it could be sunny and warm tomorrow. People check the weather forecast to help plan their day. It tells if the weather will be rainy or sunny, hot or cold. Knowing what the weather will be helps people decide what to wear and do each day. If a big storm is on the way, the forecast explains what to expect and how to prepare. Meteorologists tell us the weather. Today's forecast, thunderstorms. Thunderstorms are storms that have rain, thunder, and lightning. Lightning can be very dangerous. Lightning can strike trees and telephone poles. The bright flash of lightning can be seen from very far away. Sometimes it can be seen from 100 miles away. Thunderstorms usually happen in spring and summer. If you hear the rumble of thunder, it is a good idea to go inside right away. Indoors is the best place to be during a thunderstorm. If you are outdoors, keep low to the ground. Also, be sure to stay away from trees. Try this. You can figure out how far lightning is from you. If you see lightning, start counting seconds until you hear thunder. For every five seconds you count, that's one mile away. Today's forecast, blizzard. Blizzards are winter storms. They have very heavy snow and strong winds. It is hard to see in a blizzard. It can also be hard to walk because of the wind and the deep snow. Blizzard shopping. Stores get very crowded before a blizzard. People buy batteries and flashlights in case the electricity goes out. They buy extra food and water too. Having the right supplies is one way to prepare for a storm. After a blizzard, there is lots of shoveling to do. Snow plows work day and night to clear the roads. Neighbors help each other shovel sidewalks and driveways. School might be canceled for a few days. Kids can go sledding and build snowmen, but they better bundle up first. Wearing more than one layer of clothes will keep them warm in the frosty cold. Today's forecast, sandstorm. Sandstorms happen when strong winds pick up sand. In the air, the sand forms into cloud shapes. In very strong winds, these sand clouds can grow to be 50 feet high. The winds can carry the sand for many miles. Sandstorms usually happen in dry, hot areas. Sandstorms can form very quickly. Being outside in a sandstorm is unsafe. Imagine being inside a swirling cloud of sand. It would be very hard to see. Sand could get in your eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. Covering your face with a cloth and wearing glasses is one way to protect yourself. Finding shelter and staying there until the storm is over is another way to stay safe. The best place to be during a sandstorm is indoors with the windows shut. Meteorologists use tools to help predict when and where storms will arrive. Knowing that a storm is coming can help you prepare. Storms can be dangerous, but they can be beautiful too. 
Stay safe and enjoy the weather wherever you live. Keeping pets safe. When a big storm hits, pets need to be protected too. Be sure your pets are indoors with you where it is safe and warm. Sometimes a rainbow appears after a rainstorm. Turn and talk. Use details from get ready for weather to answer these questions with the partner. One, evaluate. Which details in get ready for weather help you understand how to get ready for a blizzard? Two, look back at pages 162 to 163. What is the main idea of this section? What details tell more about it? Three, compare get ready for weather and wild weather. How are the texts alike? What are the most important differences between them? Talking tip, complete the sentence to add to what your partner says. My idea is, write safety tips, prompt. What can you do to stay safe during different kinds of weather? Use details from the words and pictures in Get Ready for Weather to explain your ideas. Plan. First, list some ways to stay safe during thunderstorms, blizzards, and sandstorms. 